Hey yo and welcome back to yet another Knights of the Old Republic playthrough. My voice is super deep today because it's wicked early in the morning, but that's not going to stop me from doing some recording. Well, last time we were doing a trial, um, and I don't need to talk to that guy anymore because we're done with that room for right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. Don't get in the throat, man. It just, uh, it just happy hap happens. All right, so... What we need to do right now is go into the Sith base and just, I don't know. There's no other word for it. Fuck shit up. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go, um, remember there were three ways to do that. You could like sneak in with the codes that you deciphered, or you could get some informant guy to tell you, or you could also just walk over here, uh, and go into one of these rooms. It might not be this one. It might be the next one. Anyway, there's just a speeder bike set up where you can just YOLO through the front door. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, this irritating cutscene happens all the time. But not to worry. It's not that irritating. Uh, yes, this is not where I need to be. I need to go to the next the next area over. Excuse me. Um, to bring you up to speed, actually, what we're going to be doing today is half of Manan, and then we're going to book it off this place to go do one or two side quests, perhaps. Maybe uh, get some, some things going on, <clears throat> uh, uh, churning in the back of your mind. Then we'll come back and finish Manan, but I don't know if we'll finish Manan today. And this is a recording before I step into work today. That should be, uh, you know, we don't have infinite amount of time. So we're just going to gonna see how fast we can do this. But, you know, at an enjoyable pace as well. You don't want to go so fast that you're speed running through the entire game or whatever, right? Or do you? Who knows? Okay, so Sith guys in the, in the front and the back here... Uh, Really not that big of a deal since I have woo, the first use of Stasis Field and I just managed to hit one guy with it. Um, Stasis Field just makes this so easy until the very last fight of the game where, you know, obviously um, bosses are immune to status effects, which I always hate it in any RPG game. If your boss is immune to status effects, then it's like... Why, you know, why even get them? Why even pump points into status effects if a boss is immune to them? Well, this case is so that we can finish the rest of the game pretty easily. Uh, and then the last fight will have to be a little bit creative. But in other games, sometimes if you go for a status effect build, and you're just like, you're screwed. You can't do, you can't win the game. Because it's not, you just better go damage. It's not viable to go for status effects only. Because it's just better to go damage. So one of these days, I want to see a game where uh, status effects are useful. That's not an MMO. We're not talking about MMOs here, because classes are usually designed around stuff like that. Like in Guild Wars, where uh, stuff is designed around the fact that you need to stack bleeding in order to get bonus damage. Oh, boom, hit a mine. All right, so this is a dungeon. This is the Sith base. This is uh, the first dungeon on Manon here. Uh, it's very similar to the Sith base on Terrace, uh, except for it's probably m about much bigger. Yeah about it's it is actually just much a much bigger place you know considering we're fairly late into the game at this point well, maybe we're, we're, we're more than halfway we're, we got a big chunk of the game over you can tell because the level is uh status effect or excuse me stasis is uh, you can only get it level 16 the max level is 20 we might hit max level i have been fairly good at doing the side quest stuff up at this point i'd have i have skipped a bunch though because a couple, not a bunch. Simply because I either forgot that I was supposed to do them, or because I just decided that I didn't want to do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, now this place looks complicated at first. You see these doors that are shut, but really you just have to run through it. There's not really that big of a puzzle associated with it. It's no Zelda dungeon, um, Ocarina of Time, water, <laughs> water water temple which I actually kind of like that place only because I knew it was going to be hard coming into it I didn't get surprised by the fact that the puzzle was different so I, I actively tried to notice where puzzles would happen before I walked into that thing I was ready for it to be difficult 
Uh, so I really didn't think the that dungeon was that bad. However, God, the dungeon I hated in that game was the um, the well, the stupid go down into the well and get the 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 lens through which you can see invisible walls and stuff. Oh gosh, I hate that dungeon. <sighs> that dungeon made me mad. Um, that's a force field. We'll hit that up later. We're mostly just concerned with. Uh, uh, killing everything down here. What we're doing down here is, if you, in case you missed it, <clears throat> uh, the Republic has a crashed pod that they were surveying something down at the ocean floor, and the Sith uh, acquired this pod and are deciphering it to figure out what the heck the Republic is doing down in the ocean floor. And the, Repu the, the Republic doesn't want the Sith to know that because it's it's pretty bad. It's going to be pretty bad for them. So. Uh, before they can decipher the pod, they want me to fly into the Sith base, kill everyone, and recover. And actually, see, it's right there. Um, we could technically just go into this room and then leave and we finish the dungeon, but I really don't want to do that. I'd rather just... Uh, maybe there's a side quest in here. Uh, maybe two of them. I want to finish, so you're going to... You know, it's worth it to keep going through the rest of the dungeon. For this part, at least. You ever like wake up in the morning and no matter how much coffee you drink, it just won't. Your tiredness won't go away. I'm fighting it off right now. I'm trying to be valiant. I promise, but it's just not leaving. It's just not going away. Okay, so we got our uh, escape. It's not an escape pod. It's just a, a surveying pod thing. We totally nailed that. <clears throat> um, we have done the main quest we can leave at any time and we um but we won't because these are droids and since we have Jolie in our party we can just use disabled droid because it's a ridiculously overpowered part, part of his kit what? let me take a deep breath here all right we are now approaching the uh Part of the dungeon that becomes a little bit interesting. There's the Stelkath and something about a mystery. And if you'll notice, this room looks vaguely familiar. Uh, it's actually the exact same room as was in Terrace, except for you know you remember how there was a uh, you know in that right corner there was a Duros guy who was stuck in a field, and there was a puzzle that we had to disable the force fields. Good old-fashioned copy pasta. <laughs> Excuse me. Pretty, pretty obvious one at that. We can, I guess, we can forgive them though. It is a Sith base. It is supposed to look similar. Uh, now, there's supposed to be a way you can disable that red stuff. Um, I, don't know, I might figure out how to do it, but I think that I am high enough level that I can just walk through it. Um, I think you can also equip a something that because it poisons you when you walk through it. You encrypt you somebody there. that... I don't recognize you. Oh. How did you get in here? Another receptionist. This room is also copy by the way. I don't recognize you, and I know every Sith on this planet. We'll get to the bottom of this. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! <laughs> that lady kind of sounded like Basila. Yes. Oh, that happens sometimes. Um, what was he talking about? Oh yeah, the red, that red poison. Uh, there's some stuff that uh, makes you immune to poison, and if you just walk through that area with uh, poison immunity, you won't take any damage from it. Yes. Funny how that works. Now, the elevator in front of me is the way out, I think. And once I go up there, I can't go back. So we're going to stay down here for a little bit longer. Um, I already have response package equipped. I don't have level 3 implant yet because I don't get quite that many feats. Yeah, I'm not going to go up there yet. That is the way out of the dungeon. We'll keep exploring for now. Probably end up back at that red place and just barge right on through it. Uh, I've already been here. I feel like I've already been here. Um, that door's locked. I don't remember what's behind there. But it's so tantalizing. I agree. Hmm. Yeah, let's head, let's head all the way back to that copy room. 
the Terrace Sith area. Oh, excuse me. Drop a save back, back there just in case I end up doing a full circle and nothing. Not a big deal. Uh, maybe we can, is there a computer in this room I can look at? Uh, it looks like there should be, but I don't think there is. Oh well. I tried. I tried. I can maybe get through this force field. Yeah, I have to disable it. Um, huh. How embarrassing. How did I forget? We're going to go through the red area. We're going to just run through it and hope we don't die. Because I don't think I have any poison immunity stuff directly on my personage. Um, but I think I have just massive vitality and speed. That's one way to get through this area. Here we go. Save right here. Hopefully nobody lags too far behind. And let's go. Alright, well, my character's dead. Come on, Jolie. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You're gonna make it. Awesome. Okay. That's all we need to make it. Uh, my character will repeatedly stand up and die in that area until we open. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> until we disable the... Uh, the poisonous gas. Let's see. We're just there. We don't need to override anything. God, we have quite a few computer parts. We'll get to that room eventually. That's through the force field that I try to get through. Um, we were just there too. Can we do anything in there? Nah. We don't need to sabotage their droids. We're we're powerful enough that we don't need to result to anything. Res ugh, result. Ah, here we go. Disable vents. Poisonous vents. <laughs> There's my guy dying over and over again. Uh, what a horrible, horrible nightmare it must have been for him to to be experiencing that while I was perusing the computer. It was just in there. Could disable droids. I'm looking toward that force field. There's a big old force field. There it is. All right, disable force field. Where are you? There you are. Four spikes. Not a big deal. I got plenty of computer spikes because I haven't really been using any of them throughout this playthrough. As I've mentioned... As a kid, I, I used all of them all the time. I could possibly use them because I thought they were really strong. And I guess they are, but you don't get enough of them to just completely computer spike your way through the entire game. And you don't really want to waste points on computer use when you can be doing other things. Like uh, force powers and uh, treat injury. Although, you know, whatever. You, you can do whatever you want. That's just the style I choose to play through this game. No computer spike bullshittery. All right, now we should hit up that force field room. That is just this direction. Two droids guard the entrance, but we know how to deal with droids, don't we, Mr. Jolie? We disable them. Destroy them with our uh, ridiculous overpowered force power that can kill things in two hits, three hits, and disable them and stun them. I love it. Also, take mission with you, or me, at this point, because Stasis Field grants everyone uh, stun status, which means that mission can get a lovely amount of critical hits off in addition to my character. And since she has Shundar's Bowcaster, um, she does extra super mega ultra bonus damage. It's not something you hear every day. Uh, but only if she's firing and not when she's stuck in a wall behind the back room like, like that uh, circumstance goes right there. Thank you, mission. Yes. She's still wearing that. I think that she's still wearing that Republic mod armor from Terrace. It's not bad. It's actually maybe that's the Achani armor I was wearing before. Alright, throw some grenades. Somebody got whacked. There's only two guys in this room. Uh, back here, remember we were doing a side quest for a Silcath in that mercenary pub? Um, she asked, she or he, I don't actually know if it was a guy or a girl, whatever, the, fi the fish Silcath thing asked us to find one of its offspring. Uh, who was recruited by the Sith, taken down here, and we gotta figure out what what happened to that cell calf, and possibly a few more of them, who were also taken down here. And that involves us simply walking through this area to the end and fighting a big bad Sith dude, who may or may not be immune to Tassus. But we're doing this for the experience mostly, and oh gosh, hold on, I have to sneeze. Let me mute. Ugh, man. It was a good sneeze. I promise it was it was good. Allergies, you know, springtime tends to happen. 
tends to uh, make you want to sneeze. Not to worry. Uh, I think I have done everything with the computer in this area, uh, but I do have two level ups, so let's do mission. Uh, don't care about skills, we will proceed to feats. The much more interesting choice that we have here. Now, uh, I probably do triple a uh, third level of rapid shot for mission should be pretty good. Hmm. I don't think dueling affects uh, the two-handed Shundar spellcaster that she has. Uh, but Jolie, let's see what Jolie's got. I don't care about his skills at all. <laughs> Although, giving him computer use would be a total waste. And uh, he does have the third level of destroyed droid. And uh, Maybe we can give him a dark side force power. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Second level of shock. Or the dueling, I guess, whatever it was. That was fine. Not that big of a deal. I might use Jolie might not later on. Although there are a lot of droids coming up in future segments. <clears throat> Let's check out these rooms. These intermediary rooms. Uh, I think those airlocks just lead back into the original part of the base. So that you don't have to loop all the way back around when you want to leave. Which is nice. It's, it's a nice thing. Zelda dungeons have a tendency to do that where you end the dungeon on a cliff that takes you directly out. That way you don't have to use some, like a, something that teleports you out of the dungeon, like, for example, Pokemon does all the time. I just think it's a, a nice, something you can add to your dungeon design to make it a little bit less crappy. Yes. Uh, so the next room is filled with a couple of Dark Jedi. I gotta make sure I land some Stasi, Stasises, Stasiseronis. I was making sure that my gear was all set. Um, sometimes, you know, Bioware has this problem, and I've mentioned it before, where the large portions of dungeons are really easy to get by, but then just this one room that kind of sucks, for some reason it gets really difficult. Um, luckily for this game, I kind of know where they are, where those encounters are, but for Dragon Age, I only know, like, two of them. So if I ever did a playthrough of Dragon Age, there would be so much reloading and saving. Uh, going on that it would just <laughs> it would be a complete disaster it's why I compulsively save so much in this game it's just nightmares of the previous uh, playthroughs of Bioware games that I've had it's just horrible horrible problems getting through them um, got an extra bonus strength amplifiers Jolie can always use additional strength because uh, he's kind of a wimpy old man um, but not to worry, we'll give him some Iradu strength gloves, and he should be good. Ooh, is that? That's a pretty nice implant. Sure. Too bad I can't put it on quite yet. <clears throat> Alright, so that room, with, with that room having been completed, we can proceed back down this long, long hallway. Uh, there's like another quad area of rooms that I haven't explored yet. Just back the opposite direction. Hmm, excuse me. Ah, see, a, a Cellcath accountability buddy, who, for some reason, <laughs> was not marked as an enemy until I talked talked to him. Her. Let's see what's in here. Just some credits. That's fine. Alright, this is the area that I'm looking for. A couple of side quests over here. Definitely some somebody to talk to, some droids. Don't worry, we'll have Jolie take care of them. Or I guess my uh, my guy can do it. That works too. And a, a remaining Cellcath. And I think there is another fight uh, through this area that gets a little bit to, a little bit hairy. Wait. I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Well, let me guess. You intend to collect this reward, right? <laughs> See? What did I tell you? As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. Look how strong I am. I can use lightning. That's what he says. Too bad I can use Stasis Field just like that. And he's not immune to it. So let's go beat him down. Mm. We gotta make sure we focus fire him though. Otherwise, 
could possibly uh, stand to lose this fight if we're not careful. His <laughs> lightsaber's kind of glitching out. Yes. A little bit of a broken, broken lightsaber. Alright, one more volley should do the trick. Okay, another volley. There we go, he's dead. See how easy Stasis feel just makes some of the fights? It just stuns them for an obnoxious amount of time. <clears throat> Is Jolie dead? Yeah, I guess Jolie died. I didn't even notice. What? All right. One more. Good. I think this guy might have a, a nice crystal on him. Yeah, we're good. He does have a nice crystal, which I'll probably just forget to equip uh, overall. But he does have uh, good robes to change into for Jolie, who right now is wearing just Jedi Knight robes. And if you go with the Master robes, they definitely provide a higher wisdom bonus. There we go. Nice looking. Quite suave, Senor Jolie. Quite suave indeed. Okay, so that takes care of 99% of this dungeon. Um, we already did the main quest, so we're just futzing around. Didn't see that mine, but who cares? It did some damage. I can always just heal it all waves back up. That looked like a bed. It was a really tiny bed. Did I loot this already? I did not. Did I loot this one? I did not either. Okay. Um, that should be good. We'll go back to this area here. I think there are some uh, Selkath with whom I need to talk. Here we go. So they, have, these Selkath have given themselves to the dark side of the force because they think that the Sith are going to win, simply because they look stronger, but they're not really stronger in the heart where it matters. So we'll just murder all of them, no problem. And then we'll loot the remainder of these uh, fellows in this room. Then go talk to, maybe there might be another Selkath. I think there's somebody else I need to talk to in that other room. I can't remember. Maybe it's just a room full of nothing. As as per Bioware's usual MO. Motu Soparandi. In Latin, uh, that's a gerund when you end something in like Indi or Indus or something like that. You know, fun, fun Latin fact of the day. Yep, this is a, a dead Selkath. It's a, just a, a quest, you know, not not really too big of a deal, not something to seriously worry about, but I think that is the remaining last piece of this dungeon, and uh, I can fly on out of here. Cool. So now when we get out of this place, we will be instantly accosted by a group of angry, other angry Selkath, and we'll be taken to a trial back in that yummy, yummy trial room where they'll accuse me of causing a big disturbance in the Sith base and basically disturbing the peace. Uh, and then I will just simply tell them the truth about what happened. Or wait, maybe I'll just lie. You'll just have to find out. It's all, it's all prearranged. I've been yanking your chain from the beginning.
And just like that, we have escaped the clutches of the Selkath uh, judgeries. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so the the attorney that they give you is a total bumbling asshole and sucks at his job, tries to convince everyone that you're uh, you know, mentally ill. Where you can simply just show them evidence about a data pad that you picked up in the, uh, in the room and you're acquitted. Whoops, talk to the wrong guy. That is another side quest we can do. It's this one that I want to talk to. sad. How terrible. Okay, so we shall make our way to the Republic. The Republic base. Tell them all about their droid that they lost due to their own incompetency. Incompetency is an excuse for people who don't get results. I feel like that's a quote from something. I can't remember what it was. Who knows? I probably messed it up too. We'll just say that it's a quote from this. Well, once again, lost in this city. Not to worry. Oh, I guess that, that sign extends invisibly down to the ground. Can't walk by it. Hmm. All right, this looks promising. Down to this area, we will go talk to arguably the worst voice actor in the game. Uh, the... <clears throat> the guy who's voicing the Republic diplomat guy, this guy right here. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kulto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. 
This includes Colto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there will be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway, so we made a deal. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left out there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. I just saved his and the Republic's butts from certain doom. And he, I feel like he, he could show me a little bit more gratitude. I feel like I deserve at least a hug in addition to what he gave. But I guess he's not really, you know, gonna do that. And I'm just gonna be left disappointed for forever. Forever and ever. Ugh. Um, okay. Anyway, now that I know why the Republic is uh, oh, getting mercenaries down, uh, you know, there was a guy in the cafe, the cell cap guy that I accidentally talked to, blah, 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 blah. So on and so forth. He wants to know why the Republic is uh, suddenly hiring a bunch of mercenaries. Now that I know that information, I can go talk to him, and he will uh, give me some experience points. Perhaps an odd thing for the Republic to do, no? And credits. That's what I like to see. Finally. Okay, what we're going to do now is leave Manon. <clears throat> um, don't worry. We'll come back. I just want to do a side quest before we proceed with the main quest because it's slightly relevant, slightly, you know, I don't want to run out of time to do it. I don't want to forget about this side quest before it's too late to do. Um, you know, Bioware games have point of no return. Now, before I do that, um, what I want to do is talk to Karth and Bastila to make sure that I have everything lined up. Hmm? Sorry. I'm just thinking about my mother. It's strange to hear news after all this time. It's quite distracting. Should we have the opportunity, I would like to find her on Tatooine. There's only one small colony there. It should not be difficult. It's not that I look forward to seeing her. I just can't help but wonder what she wants. But perhaps we have better things to do. All right, Basil is thinking about her mother. Yes, and what is Carr thinking about? I already told you, he betrayed us all. 
Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but th th they didn't come in time. Of course not, how could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. Yes, I, I can't forgive Saul for this. He took everything from me, even my trust. I hope you can understand that. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. Karth is thinking about his old mentor and uh, his family. So what we're going to do now is head on over to Tatooine. Uh, we'll skip the cutscene because I just don't care about the ship flying in. And leave the ship with probably Karth and Vasla because they are my two hubbies. They're my two accountability buddies. I want to make sure I have them in my party at the moment. Boom. Boom. Let's go. So both of these guys are super underleveled, so yeah. let's level them up right now. That's the... Uh, um, probably going to be focusing on... Uh, maybe just offensive, defensive light powers. The shield is nice. She's not quite level 16 yet. Can't get Stasis Field. Oh, she only had one level. Maybe she's not woefully underleveled. Let's see what Karth is. I did level him up earlier. It recommends second level of bla or first level of blaster shot. Holy smokes, he's he's in the dumps. I might get toughness for him. This is a little tricky because I haven't been investing too much into Karth, although he does have nice two weapon fighting. He is a soldier through and through, though, so we'll do toughness for him. Extra vitality points, that's fine. Um, strength elements aren't really going to do much for him because he just uses pistols. I can give him an implant, though, I guess. Should be fine. Hmm. Hmm. Which one of these? Constitution seems good. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. So, now we will get accosted, hopefully, What? right there. Boom. Karth! Karth Onessi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you, are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's, um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. 
Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. Damn, we just learned that Koth's son is still alive. But he's also a member of the Sith Order, potentially, on Korriban. The final planet to which we will go. That's pretty... That's pretty big, uh... Mic drop right there. Lavoda and even kiss Matoma, Wanakun Toma, Jingbang non kick. Kuyabi just kuna jitanai, Ina kun mama Ask if they've seen her. Lavoda and even kiss Matoma, Wanakun Toma, Jingbang non Kuyabi just kuna jitanai. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. And here we get word that someone who is almost certainly Basila's mother is schlumming around the cantina on Tatooine right here. So let's go uh, talk. Wait, that's the swoop registration. Let's go speak to her, see what the hell she wants us to do. And we all know that it won't be that exciting. But we'll see about that. Beth? I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Master. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? I see Bastila seeks out friends that are as selfish as she is. This is how you treat a dying woman? I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Oh, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon girls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition, nor am I the adventurer my husband was. What remains would there be? Crate dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron, an ignoble end to a fine man. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. All right, Basilisk's mother wants us to retrieve a holocron, but unfortunately, that's all the time I have. I have got to go, so I will see you on the next episode.